A little while ago I was in a bookstore and as I wandered around I saw a great big pile of books about the Beatles. Then I went around a corner and there was a bunch of books about Marilyn Monroe. Around another corner was a bunch of books about the moon landing and it made me think, why are we still writing books about the Beatles, Marilyn Monroe, the moon landing and things that happened like 60 years ago? Isn't that kind of strange? I mean, isn't that kind of strange in a world where you have the internet and Wikipedia and you can look up anything you want to? Why on earth would anybody want to buy a book about something that happened 50 years ago? For that matter, when you think about it, why would anybody buy a book at all? Like, if we didn't start with books, we would never create them today, right? Like. If we had started with all things digital and you could read books on your phone or on your laptop or on your computer and there, there's not a chance that today we'd come up with an idea that would say, you know what we ought to do? We ought to go out and cut down a tree and, and then make it into pulp and then make that into paper and then figure out a way to print something on it and then ship that all the way across the country back and forth. There's not a chance that we would create books today if we hadn't started with them. If we'd started just with internet, we'd be with internet and we'd have no thought of making a book. But we still have books all over the place. And, and here's my confession. I love books. I hate reading things on my phone or on an iPad or on a computer. I don't want to read a book on a phone. I want a book. I want something I can hold in my hands. Why? Well, for the same reason that people want to read about the Beatles and people want to read about Marilyn Monroe and people want to read about the moon landing. I think people want those things. I want a actual physical book because it's familiar. It's what I like. I understand a book doesn't make any sense at all, but I still like it. It's what I expect when I go to read something. I expect a book. People still read about the Beatles because they were familiar to them and, and they enjoy reliving it. It's a nostalgic sort of thing and, and those things aren't necessarily bad. Things that are nostalgic or familiar or traditional, doing things the way you've always done them isn't necessarily a bad thing. But sometimes it is. Sometimes doing things just because we've always done them, doing things a certain way because it's the way my parents did it, or um, I get trapped in a pattern because this is just what I always do. Sometimes those patterns can be really harmful to us. Sometimes they can be destructive to us and our families. Sometimes just doing what you've always done isn't a good thing at all. So here's a little reminder and some hope for today. You can start again. You don't always have to do what you've always done. You don't always have to just keep going down the same path. You can begin again. That's the message of the gospel. You can start over anytime, right now. New beginnings is what the gospel's all about. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says this, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. You're a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. So if there's something you need to get rid of, if you need a new beginning, if you need to start over again, Christ is your place to start. If we are in Christ, we are a new creation. We don't have to be what we've always been. And that is good news for today.